Okay, welcome back, fellow Guild Wars nostalgians. We are on our next episode of our play, our uh, prophecies playthrough. We are on the Divinity Coast, and um, we're gonna we got rid of our fire skills from last mission. I I was honestly struggling in that last mission trying to make that a viable uh, build. So today we're going just with domination, fast casting, inspiration. I'm keeping the arcane echo there because I'm. I'm gonna try and keep uh, spamming some AOE, so I'm just gonna be using Chaos Storm. I'm gonna try and get off a lot of double Chaos Storms, or even maybe like double interrupts would be pretty good. We're also br bringing uh, Wastrel's Worry, Worry, which I'm not sure how how well it will do here. Basically, it depend. It all depends on if the enemy, if we can prevent the enemy from using a skill for three seconds, but. It's a spammable hex, uh, so that'll be fun to use while our chaos storms are on cooldown. So anyway, let's pull up our hero, oh no, our henchman. Healer, of course, mage, of course, cultist. I should like spend some time and look at what actual skill bars these are using, these guys are using, but yeah, we're going to use the brawler and fighter as well. And let's get started. Divinity Coast. I can't remember what episode we're on. Is this episode 16? I think it's 16. Oh no, I remember this mission. Uh, I can already say right off the bat, we probably are not going to be able to do the bonus. The bonus requires uh, like fast running skills plus healing skills. Because uh, it involves having to keep NPCs alive. So I can't guarantee we're going to do the um, bonus. But we will hopefully be successful in the primary quest here. Bam, our chaos storms on these dudes. Oh, they immediately move out of it. All right, let's try some wastrels worry. Oh, he just died immediately. They are standing in my Chaos Storm. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think just going full domination allows us to do more damage than fire anyway. And Chaos Storm, Fire Storm, it's pretty similar damage. And it's really good versus casters, so. I, I would like to mess around with uh, some skills, some unique skill bars, but... For this mission, I don't know. I just want to have some, some good skills. <laughs> Shaymore, that city sounds familiar. I think that's the start. Isn't that the starting like city village in um, Guild Wars Two? Am I crazy? Ooh, already a boss. Definitely want to take out bosses so we can get that morale, moral support, moral boost, morale boost. Interrupt that sucker. Cast a, ah, see the wasteful worry already deactivated, but it's spammable. So we can just keep spamming wasteful worry and eventually it'll work. Yeah. Make sure we get off our second chaos storm before that goes away. I'm liking this build. It's very, uh, it's very active. Oh, also, I forgot to show you. I don't know if you guys remember in a previous episode, there's a collector right outside of Kate, uh, the gates of Krita. I, uh, before I started the stream, I used some of the collector items, the, um, decayed ore emblems to get the second I got both of these items from that same collector. Very nice fire magic. Even though we're not using fire magic, we're going to enjoy that uh, 30 extra health. But this cane is like pretty awesome. 15 extra energy. We're losing energy re regeneration, but this cultist henchman, I don't know if you noticed, gives energy bonus. So we're going to be making that up. That's why we have a whopping 51 energy in our skill, in our uh, energy bar here. Very exciting. I'm excited. 
All right, Justicia Hableon. We met him in um, the Gates of Krita mission, right? Is that right? Yeah, Gates of Krita mission. We met him. Helped him out with some My friends, undead. Welcome to Shamor. This is the Eye of Janthir. It has the power to see inside a person and discern his or her magical aptitude. Those it gazes upon will be judged, either rising to glory or falling in shame. You will be bringing it to Lomhurst, taking those whom it deems worthy with you. But before it will follow you, you must first cleanse yourself in the Fountain of Truth, up on the hill to the southeast. Once you have been cleansed, come back to retrieve the eye, and you can commence administering the test. All right. I wonder if he noticed that those uh, murgoyles were just killing his men up on the top of that hill. So yeah, we need to get this eye of Janthir. It's gonna be part of this white mantle religion, and they're gonna. It's gonna reveal our chosen people that we're gonna. We're going to escort through the undead hordes here. Kind of cool that Justicia Hableon, he's got that full heavy armor, like warrior style armor, but he's using a bow. But I must say, in Guild Wars 1, I don't know if there's a decent build for warrior, ranger, a, a bow wielding warrior in this game. Like... Yeah, I gotta say, it's not gonna be very viable in my opinion. But he's, he's pulling it off. Oops, wasted my interrupt there. Something's doing a lot of damage. Our fighters are up there. Just spiking them down. Okay. Yeah, I was feeling a little worried about this mission, but I think we're about... Like, we're at a pretty decent, um, level. Make sure our... I don't know if our henchmen can get cleansed from this, uh, or not. Abbott has nothing to say to us. We are gonna hit level 14 on this mission. That's cool. The max level in Guild Wars 1 is level 20. Um, which is gonna take... I, yeah, it, it takes a while to get up there, especially since we're doing... Um, we're not, we're not rushing through the missions. We're doing minimal side quests, I must say. But if, if we ever need to do some leveling, we might go back and do some side quests that we missed. But so far, even with the henchmen, we're kind of doing well. Oh, I need to go back to Hableon, don't I? So now we got this cleansed, uh, status. The waters of the Fountain of Truth have washed away your sins. You are now worthy to transport the Eye of Janthir. So this creepy, creepy eye thing is following us around now. Pretty cool. wonder whose eye they used for that. So as we walk near these villagers, they're going to glow. And some of them are going to be... Yeah, we got one... Looks like we have one villager uh, following us. Some of them are going to be chosen. Some of them are not. Like that one. He's not. He fell down. Gate guard, no. You're not chosen. The, the problem with this mission, this is why I said we're probably not going to do the bonus, is, um, is that it's very difficult to get it off or to, uh, to, oh, sorry, my, my, uh, my mage henchman is dying. Um, it's very hard to do the bonus because we have to keep the villagers, all the villagers alive. And you'll see coming up here that some of the villagers that we need to escort are already being attacked. So you need like running skills and healing skills to hurry up and ensure and rescue them essentially which we do not really have we're not monks we're a we're a mesmer elementalist our our henchmen are not quite 
smart enough to do it, so... It's gonna be something we have to come back for, I believe. I'm gonna do my best. But... Yeah. I don't know if we can do it. Even if... even if, Oh, there's a boss up here. Even though I know I probably won't be successful in the bonus, though... Uh, a cool thing with this one is you actually get bonus gold for each villager you successfully escort. So even if you're not planning on doing the bonus, you do get a little bit of a payday for bringing some in. I'm pretty sure. Hope I'm not making that up. Pretty sure that's the case. We definitely want to kill this boss. Level 18 though, holy cow. I'm gonna interrupt whatever spell he casts. Not casting anything. Got it. Guardian. Protective bond. Who's he casting that on? He ran away out of my um out of my chaos storm. No matter. Yeah, these inferno imps. They do tons of spike damage to my whole team. AoE. Don't die. Oh, Elysia died. I died. Why do they hurt so bad? Oh, man. That's rough. They're only level 13, but dang, they hurt. Might be good to bring some uh, items that... Uh, some armor that has some fire resistance, I think. Maybe a fire resistant... Uh, a shield or something that gives some fire resistance or fire or fire defense that's rough real rough we lost our morale boost luckily though like we have minus 10 help uh not stand in one group and i need to be watching my interrupts a little bit better Ooh. can't believe just three lousy inferno imps just almost wiped us oh it's an actual i don't remember seeing like a real pig skin <laughs> pig skin i mean like a an actual like domesticated pig that's pretty cool I thought all the pigs in this game were warthogs. Never noticed that. Yeah, we need to try and get this. Uh, we need to get this death penalty gone. Minus 10% of your uh, health and stuff is not fun. We're almost level? No, we're not. Gained about 300 experience so far in this mission. We saved one villager so far. Try and sneak this villager out. Come with us. He's not doing anything. Ah, oh. didn't mean to aggro him, but he's cast a couple chaos storms. Oh, he's still standing in that. That's interesting. Should have interrupted that. I should. I want to. I want to make sure I'm using my mouse to click skills rather than the keyboard because I like to show which skill I'm using. But. I've been slacking off. I need to be focusing one target also. Probably driving some of y'all crazy. Because the the AI of the henchman is pretty much geared to whoever you attack, they attack. So if you're switching like I'm switching targets because I don't I don't want to overkill enemies too. As I said like in a previous video, if you're 
you're overkilling enemies, that's not really great for efficiency. But the thing is, I'm switching targets a little too soon. So my henchmen immediately switch targets with me and then, yeah, it causes some bad micromanagement. Like, uh, like in StarCraft or strategy game or something. See, here's a villager. He's getting attacked. We might be able to get there in time. I doubt it. Go, go, go. Oh, they have a healing signet. I think we might get this one. Try and aggro them away. Nice. Yeah, we saved them. Nothing like a good couple good AoE spells. Nice. Thank you. When our caravan was attacked, several of us scattered into the hills. So there's a clue. We need to go into the hills here. Yeah, we're getting pinged. So definitely it's telling us to hurry up to this guy. You can see him getting attacked. We want to try and aggro them off ASAP. Nice, we got this one too. Yeah, the casting time of Wastrel's Worry is really fast. I need to be casting that more often, I think. I didn't mean to use uh, Cry of Frustration as my Arcane Echo, but it's alright. These Ranger skills are just too fast for me to interrupt. That's why it's kind of a waste as a player Mesmer to bring too many interrupt skills, because you're just... You're gonna, you're gonna be missing the interrupts, most likely. Alright, we're doing pretty well. How come this villager isn't following us, though? How many do we have following us? We have... Oh, we have... Yeah, only two. I'm pretty sure this villager should be following us. Eh, I'm not gonna go back. Even though we are doing pretty well. I might... Yeah, I'm gonna go back and check it. But I'm gonna edit the running backwards out of this, so... Okay, we ran back just to double check if we missed any villagers and we did not so we're gonna continue going from y'all's point of view uh we it was seamless right um let's keep going dry cloud call cloud claw is good we have another boss to fight this should get us out of the death penalty hopefully it gives us back our um uh what do you call it morale boosts but i'm not sure if it will Why? Man, he heals a lot. I need to interrupt the next time he uses his healing skill. There we go. Interrupt that. Should go down here. I want to keep Wastrel Worry up. Ooh, feathers. Feathers are pretty valuable. Do I have any Crichton keys? No, I don't have any. Thought I bought some. Oh, need to hurry. This merchant's being attacked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, two of them were being attacked. Yeah, this is probably where we're going to fail. Let's send our henchman here to save that one. And I'm going to run up and try and save this one. Oh, great. We got some rubber banding going on. Okay, we aggroed them. Let's try and bring here. Oh, no, they went back. It'll be fine. Ooh, a gold buckler. Nice. He's not doing anything. Keep wasteful worry on all of them. Don't die, buddy. I think we got both of them. Nice. Get a morale boost for that, too. I didn't know that. Awesome. 
Ooh, re receive physical damage minus 5, 19%. That's pretty good stat. Oh, there's three of them now up here. Oh, man. Yeah, it's getting a little bit intense. I don't want to aggro all of them because I don't want to die, actually. Put them here. Missed it. Come on, guys. Attack me. Don't attack him. Pick on someone your own size. That's <laughs> corny. <laughs> Alright, they're attacking me. Don't kill me, though. I think we saved them all. We might be able to do the bonus after all. Yeah, we got... I think when a villager dies, it's it becomes... Like, you see their health is down, but all their health is up, so... I think that means we have them all so far. Right? Hopefully. One, two, three, four. I can't remember how many we actually have to save. I knew it. I knew I was gifted. Yeah, you did. Guy quick feather. Another boss that should give us 8% morale boost. I can't help but feel like we're missing one. I mean, getting the bonus will be... It'll be a bonus, so... <laughs> what? I totally interrupted that. Come on. Spamming Wastrel's worry, but I don't think... I can get it off. Keeps using some skill really quickly. I think we're almost at the end of this. We're going to be fighting some undead now. Hence the swamp. I've been playing uh, Valheim 2 on my live stream. So <laughs> I'm pretty familiar with swamps. Whoops. Meant to use... Chaos Storm. It's okay. He's gonna go down fast. I definitely... Okay, this Warlock. I'm gonna be interrupting him non-stop. Double interrupt. That's pretty broken, too. Having that Arcane Echo with two interrupts like that. Let's see what rune we get. Fast Casting 2. That's not bad. Actually, I was looking at runes, and a minor fast casting rune, like just a plus one, is like 6,000 gold. Whoa, why is my... Oh, okay. Heal him up. I'll just be poison. Alright, this is going to be tricky. I want to move my henchmen up first. I don't want them to be... Yeah, they got interrupted anyway. I got worried about the... Um... They use Earthquake, and so I got a little worried about that. What's causing the knockdown? Do they have, like, some sort of self-knockdown skill? Interesting. Yeah, what's knocking them down? Is the Eye of Janthir knocking them down? Hmm. Interesting. Raja Crux. That's a pretty cool boss name. What is he, uh, Mesmer, or... Looks like a monk, actually. Yeah. Monk boss. Make sure we interrupt him. Boom. And he takes the 73 damage on top of that. So, Wastrel's Worry plus the Cry of Frustration combo is pretty nice. Alright, what do we got here? Another rune. Um, a knight's corrupted. So we have two runes in this one. We have a an attunement rune, that energy plus two, and then a warrior rune, that knight's received physical damage minus three.
Let's take out the monk. Separate my chaos storms out. Nice. The wastrel worry wastrel's worry is also pretty good because they have um, that monk has hex removal. So as soon as I put wastrel's worry on, he was about to my like remove it, but. Glacial's Worry is spammable, so it's a really good way of of either, like, masking, covering a hex of another hex, or just, like, wasting their hex removal, because I could just recast it almost immediately. Really liking this skill. One cooldown skill is pretty great. I'm liking this domination build. I'm just keeping Wastrel Worry on all of them. Yeah, what's knocking them down? Really interesting. I think this Eye of Janthir knocks down the undead. Never noticed that before. My Chaos Storm is on cooldown, so I'm just going to spam some energy burns on him. Pretty good damage. It makes him lose 14 energy. That's not nothing. Got a lucky interrupt on that crippling hit. That's cool. Right. He was casting that spirit. The spirit had like a five second casting time. What a waste. All right. 10 morale boost. I think we have... I think there's one more villager. I think there's five villagers total. There might be one more coming up. Who knows? I feel like we missed one. Seems weird to have four villagers be the bonus. I think they would make it five. If I were a developer, you know? I think this is the end. Not a bad mission, actually. The hardest part of this mission were those incendiary... Oh, no, the uh, Inferno Imps. They cast that incendiary bonds, and... Yeah, they were real bursty. Is there one more? Let's check. I don't want to talk to him yet. Maybe there's one more I can get here. Probably not the guards. Let's talk to these villagers. Can I get one more? One more chosen one, please. Ah, I didn't get it. I should have talked to him. My, oh, why didn't I talk to him? Maybe I get the bonus from that. I hope not. I hope that's not the case. I might have just missed the bonus because I didn't talk to that guy. That would be a shame. Because look, he still got that exclamation mark there. Ah. That'll be really stupid if I just gave up the bonus. Man. Oh well. Not the end of the world. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four chosen there. I think I did get all of the chosen, but... Who are these guys? What was that? It came from over there. All oh, right. It's an ambush. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> these are the uh, shining blade, I think. Yep. Dwayna, protect us. Quickly, take the chosen into the jungle. Please don't hurt us. Keep quiet. Your suffering will be over soon. Phaedra. Very nice. All right, we're at the next outpost. Got level 14. Can we see 
what did we get from yeah we can't see any gold or anything we got yeah we totally should have talked to that guy all right there's a lesson when you see someone with the exclamation mark talk to them right away don't try and do anything fancy um some quests here hyper profit okay we get a we get some skills here i think next episode we will do some of these skills or just some of these quests to get some extra skills what was it hex breaker and bright and gloves 51 armor what are we using right now wow what a big gap or big jump man we just upgraded these gloves or these this armor this another quest ethereal burden and stone daggers all right we have a few so brother's fury is the primary quest glad i picked that up we need to do maguma we're in the maguma jungle now we're out of krytha we're in maguma now we're gonna do both of these quests next episode nice so how far how how is our journey going we started here in ascalon city we did our entry missions. We did how many? One, two, three, four. We went into the Shiver Peaks. Five, six. We got the Krita. Seven, eight, nine. Nine missions in. I think we have like 10 more missions left or something. Maybe even more. We have 20 missions left. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember how long, how many missions total there are, but Megan could good progress i think all right thanks for joining in uh when we come back we're gonna do some quests and get to the next mission area so i'll catch y'all next time